Slok 5th Guru, O merciful Master, show Thy grace and Thyself grant me pardon. Falling at the feet of the true Guru, ever, ever I contemplate Thy name. Abide Thou, O Lord, within my mind and body, that my suffering may be anewed. By giving Thy hand, save Thou me, O my Master, that I be rid of all the fears. O Lord, engage me to this service, that day and night I may sing Thine praise. In the holy congregation of the saints, the malady of egoism is annulled. The one Lord is fully pervading in all the creation. By the Guru's grace, I have acquired the holy truth. O gracious Master, show grace and bless me that I sing thine praise. This is what Nanak loves the most, that by thy sight he is joyful. Fifth Guru, contemplate thou but one Lord in thy mind and seek the shelter of the one. Be in love with the one Lord, without him there is no other place. Beg from one bestower Lord, and thou shalt be blessed with all the boons. Within thy mind and body, meditate thou on the one Lord alone, with every breath and morsel of thine. The true treasure of the name nectar is acquired by the Guru's grace. Very fortunate are the saintly persons, within whose mind the Lord has come to abide. God is pervading the ocean, land, netherworld and sky. There is no other. In the Lord's will, Nanak contemplates the name and the name he utters. For he, he whose saviour art thou, O Lord, him who can slay. He whose saviour art thou, conquers the three worlds. He on whose side thou art, his face becomes radiant. He on whose side thou art, is the purest of the pure. He on whom is thy grace, O Lord, is not called to account. He on whom is thy player, O Lord, enjoys thine nine treasures. He on whose side thou art, O Lord, he does not depend on anyone else. He on whom is thy mercy, he engages in thy meditation. Slok 5th Guru Be thou gracious, O my Lord, that I may pass my life in the company of the saints. They who forget thee are born to die again and again and their veils never ending. Fifth Guru In thy heart ever contemplate thy true Guru, whether thou art on difficult path, hillock or wharf. By uttering the Lord God's name, no one shall obstruct thy path. Body. There thou art, O Almighty Lord, where there is none else. There, in the fire of mother's womb, thou protectest the mortal, O Lord. Hearing thy name, the death courier leave the human beings. The dreadful, formidable, and unfathomable world ocean is crossed by the aid of Guru's word. They who have thirst for thee partake of thy nectar. This is the only virtuous deed in the dark age that one sings the praise of the world, Lord. The Lord is merciful to all. He takes care of the everyone at every breath. Nanak says, None who comes to thine door with longing devotion, O Lord, returns empty-handed. Slok 5th Guru O Supreme Lord, he whom thou givest thy name's support, knows not another, inaccessible, unknowable, almighty, true and munificent is my master. Thou, O Lord, art immutable, Unanimical and true and true is thy court. Thy worth cannot be told. Thou hast no limit, this and that end. To ask from anybody else than the Lord is vain. All other relishes are poison and ashes. They alone are in peace and they, the true kings, whose dealings are true. 